This morning, the dispute fueling the biggest healthcare worker strike in U.S. history shows no signs of easing. Kaiser executives just aren't listening. More than 75,000 workers in eight states are picketing Kaiser Permanente, forcing the healthcare provider to limit elective and non-emergency procedures for patients. We're working, you know, one respiratory therapist that should be doing the job of two or three. The reason why our frontline health care providers are on strike is because the delays right now to schedule appointments, to schedule surgeries, are weeks, even months out. And we have been sounding the alarm. The union is demanding higher wages and better staffing levels. Kaiser says it's already reached a number of tentative agreements with the unions, including a minimum wage for employees up to $23 an hour in California, $21 nationwide, with $2 more in the coming years. Meanwhile, U.S. auto workers have now been on strike for three weeks. General Motors now saying it's made a counteroffer to the UAW, and Ford has reportedly narrowed differences with the union on key sticking points. Ahead of his news conference today, union president Sean Fain shared a picture of the rose ceremony from TV's The Bachelorette, with the logos of Ford, GM, and Stellantis placed over the men's faces. Fain saying... Tune into the union's Facebook page at 2 p.m. on Friday to see who gets the rose, suggesting perhaps some movement after a strike that's costing millions and has already led to thousands of layoffs in the industry. The UAW has threatened to expand the strike to more plans unless there's progress on talks. Meanwhile, the strike at Kaiser Permanente is set to end tomorrow, but could resume next month. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.